Who's right? Who's wrong? You decide. Hash it out with Frank Garay and Brian Stevens. Brought to you by Remen Wholesale. Hi, I'm Carl Markman with Remen Wholesale. We're incredibly proud of our history of educating and partnering with the broker and banker community to prepare you for what's next. We've always been committed to same-day turn times on initial underwrites, which allows us to earn your business each and every day. We're happy to sponsor the following program. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hash It Out. I'm Frank Gray here with Brian Stevens. Yep. We recently did a show on the National Real Estate Post, which you can catch at nationalrealestatepost.com about the CFPB, CFPB slamming RPM for 20 million bucks. Now the CFPB says they did a lot of terrible things. They're paying bonuses on higher rates for the consumers, blah, 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 blah. But we have it on a very reliable third party source that none of that actually happened. And in fact, the consumers were actually benefiting from their arrangement, not getting hurt. And I think the question that we want to discuss here is, is if a company is doing some sort of an expense account system, right, to kind of work with the back end money that these lenders get to be a benefit either to the loan officer or the consumer, good idea, bad idea. I mean, what do you think about this whole thing? It's a horrible idea. Don't yeah. do it. And in yeah. fact, I, I, I think the shot across the bow that lenders really have to understand right now is there is a lot of uh, creative manipulation of how they're paying loan officers. Right. Uh, and, and here's the thing I really want uh, you to think about. Uh, even if you've vetted this, you've done your due diligence, you've run it by your legal, and you come back and they come back and say, everything is okay here. I want you to be mindful and understand that it's not okay. Because you are probably working for some regional bank, big or small, I mean, the scale, scalable on whatever size, it doesn't matter. Here's what I do know. Mm. The CFPB is successfully suing Chase, City, Wells, and Bank of America. Right. And they've got the biggest and most trained, uh, highly effective legal teams that you could possibly get. Right. Their legal teams are better than yours and they're still losing. Right. So we have a situation of um, rule clarification through enforcement. So the CFPB doesn't tell you what you can do in terms of how you're paying loan officers very specifically. They are telling you it by enforcement through other companies. So you could be one of two. You could take a conservative approach to how you're paying loan officers, or you could possibly put yourself in the crosshairs of the CFPB and become an example of what not to do for other banks to follow. At this point, the amount of money that it's costing some of these banks like RPM, you're looking at 19, 20 million dollars here. Right. Uh, it would sink most ships. Right. So it's not worth the um, recruitment benefit of uh, offering a creative expense account plan to bring on some loan officers when what